Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time. Um, I have been very, very busy over the summer redecorating my home. And part of it has been moving my studio downstairs and redecorating it as well. So I am back at it though, you guys, and very, very pleased to share this coral colored painting with you. So if you would like to see how I did this, then please keep watching. I'm giving you a bird's eye view of the items that I'm gonna be using today in my DIY. I will leave a complete list in my description box below and I will point them out as I'm putting them on the canvas because I'd really like to just get started in on this project. And I've come up with an idea, another idea for framing my canvas. And it's this bling wrap that I got off Amazon. And I think it's going to really, really look sharp. So yeah, you guys, let's just get started. So I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And you can use whatever size canvas you want. It'll all depend on the space that you want to hang it. And I drew a line about two-thirds of the way up because I want more of the coral color on this than the silvers because my uh, bling wrap around for my frame is going to be silver. So I'm just going to turn my canvas this way because I always like painting away from myself. And we're going to start with the coral colors and that'll be on the bottom of the canvas. So this is Fire Opal by Folk Art. It's a metallic and I've never used it before. And this is a Fire Coral uh, by Folk Art and it is a matte finish. And I'm gonna be using some of my white pearl so that it's not all coral on the bottom and I've got a I have a couple of little uh, tubes here that, that's al that are almost empty. So I think I'm going to start with this fire coral, the mat. Just do some lines. Then the Fire Opal Metallic. And then some of my White Pearl. And I forgot to wet my canvas a little bit with my water, but that's okay. I'm going to just spritz my brush here with some water. And we're going to just load our brush up. I'm going to add just a little more white pearl. Ooh, 
it's going to be pretty. Okay. Now I'm just going to turn this around. And we are going to add some silvers. My bright silver, I use it a lot in my paintings. I just love it. It's by Craft Smart. It's just, um, it's a lighter silver. It's very shiny, um, but it doesn't go too far into like a gray tone that you can get with some silvers. Then I'm going to use just a silver, Craft Smart. It's a little bit of a, a darker silver, and you'll see, um, you'll see when I'm, oops, when I start applying it here. It's very runny for some reason. I'll let her add a little here. And I'm gonna add my white pearl up top as well. In fact, I think I'm gonna add it right beside this darker silver. I'm just gonna wet my brush. This brush isn't as wide as the other one. Uh, it doesn't matter, I don't. I haven't been able to get these flat brushes from Amazon. Um, well, I haven't looked in a while, mind you, but this one will be just fine. I want to blend this up top a little bit more on the bottom so it's less uh, streaky. So I don't mind going over it um, more. Whereas if you want a lot of streaks, you don't want to... Um, do too many brush strokes. Now there's a, all of the paints that I'm using um, are metallic except for that one matte finish. So I am not going to put any kind of a coating on top of my paint after it dries because I do not want to lose that beautiful metallic sheen that you get from the metallic paints. Okay, so once that's all dry, I will bring you back and then we will apply our bling wrap around the edges for our frame because you want to do that before you apply your crushed glass and glitter. Okay, so my paint is all dry and now it is time to add my frame. And I'm going to be using this really pretty uh, bling wrap that I picked up of picked up off of Amazon and I will leave a link in my description box below. And the first thing that I want to do is cut it so that I can wrap a row along the side of my canvas like that. So I know I'm going to need three rosettes because I want my frame to be about so wide. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut straight, uh, straight across because this particular bling wrap has uh, six rows of these pretty flowers. This is what I mean, right? There's, there's six rows, so I'm going to need three for either side. Okay, so I have all my bling wrap cut into my strips to fit around my frame. And I've also got an extra strip that I've cut off for either, um, for all four sides, and you'll have to stick around uh, to see what I do with that. And depending on 
the size of your canvas uh, will depend on how long you cut your strips, obviously. And these are not gonna fit flush, so I'm going to have to cut a little bit off um, of the bottom and the top row, but I'm not gonna do that until I have my two sides glued on first, and then I'll know how much exactly I need to cut off. So I'm just gonna put these four, I've got four of two because you cannot wrap four sides, right, the way I'm doing it here, without leaving um, a gap on your bottom and your top. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So the best way to tackle this little operation is to do the top first because the top is much more important than the side because of course the top is what you're what you're going to be looking at and i'm going to want to wrap it you guys I want, i'm going to want to wrap this bling wrap like so and i'm going to be using my tacky glue i use this for quite a few projects I know I do want glue on each of these little rosettes. Now this glue um, dries clear, so that's good. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to this one. And to this one. That's not going to work. I can't pick that up. You know what? I think just those two will be plenty. And then, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Well, maybe I can. Hoping you can see this. I'm just going to quickly do this and for this one I'm not going to need any hot glue This is going to look really sharp and like I said earlier just another way that you can frame your canvas out okay so I've applied uh, on both sides my bling wrap and this is what I meant earlier so now that this is secure on my canvas it is looking like the bottom will end up being approximately um, this little diamond, these little diamonds that go around on mine anyway. So I'm just going to cut that off of my individual little flowers here as straight as I can get it. What I'm going to be doing, well, he can't even notice that. Look at that. That's perfect, you guys. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. So, now I can go ahead and apply that to my canvas.
Okay, and then this is where um, the extra two little rosettes come in um, because, of course, you can't wrap all four sides like I did on the sides, right, without having to cut so many strips if you can do it in the three like that. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing the top one as well, and then I'm going to be adding, of course, the, the two little extra rosettes that I need on these four corners, and then I will bring it back. Okay, so I've finished outlining um, my frame on my canvas. It's very, very blingy and pretty. I like this idea. And the reason for the extra strips is because now I'm going to fill in this gap. It's very pretty the way it is, and there's other ideas that I have to frame out canvases. But today I'm going to make my frame nice and full. Now, the trick with this is it may be a little difficult to just use um, glue because there's some height to this bling wrap, right? So it's not going to adhere if you just put glue in the center because it's not going to touch your canvas. So in my case, I am going to use a hot glue gun and then I will be able to build it up by putting in like a, a fairly good dollop of uh, hot glue, right? But you could also add your tacky glue along the sides and then that is going to adhere it. It's going to be able to catch either the string or a little piece of the little um, diamond effect that's going around the big diamond in the middle, if you will. So I'm going to make sure that I have an extra glue stick handy here. Because what I am going to do, I'm not going to add it to this. I'm going to add it to this part. And then that should grab onto my one row here. And it did. So it grabbed onto it. I think I need a stick. <laughs> there. There, see how nice and full that is? Okay, so here is my canvas all framed out and I'm really liking the result. And now we are going to put on some of our crushed glass and glitter. And we are going to start with some Tri Art liquid glass. I will leave a link in my description box below um, where you can buy it. Some of you unfortunately can't get it. I'm just going to go along this line. Because I want to make sure that where my two paint colors meet, um, it's covered up nicely. I'm staying away from my frame. I'll push, I'll push the liquid glass towards my frame and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Okay. And I'm just 
going to push it up a little bit so it's around the same width. Just push some over to the edge. And I'm just going to start making some little icicles here. Because of the size of my canvas and my preference, um, I keep my icicles for this size of canvas fairly small. I don't go too far into the painting. These are my longer ones. Now I'm just going to, in between my longer ones, I'm just going to bring some of that liquid glass down in between. Okay, I'm pretty excited to use these new glitters that I have. Um, this is a bright coral that I picked up at Michael's. It's gorgeous. It's an extra fine glitter by Recollections. And I'm just going to add a little bit, like I always do, I add some, some glitter before I add my crushed glass. And part of that is because I want to make sure that this line where my two paint colors meet is going to be covered. And the weight of the glass, it doesn't matter. It uh, Gravity works. It pushes right through the glitter. Okay, and this is a bright coral, a chunky uh, glitter. Also from Michael's Recollections. Add a little bit of it. Oh, these colors are fantastic. And then this is my bling. I've used it in some of my other paintings. It's an extra fine glitter. I didn't want to go with just a fine glitter. Or, I'm sorry, um, a fine silver glitter. Because, again, I think with this frame, there's enough silver going on with it and the paint color at the top. And then a little bit of silver in with this blue. Okay, now this is my the Clear Crush Glass. It's Ashland brand. And I buy it at Michael's. Um, and I think this will be the best color to use with this paint and glitter combination. mentioned this in my other videos that just make sure that all of your liquid glass right to the peaks is totally covered otherwise you're going to have a peak that is shiny when this is all dry without any glitter or crushed glass adhering to it and you're not going to like that look just Make sure it's even throughout. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough of that. And now I'm going to add the uh, bright coral extra fine again. And I'm really going to start loading up my glitter and making sure all of that liquid glass is covered. Okay, and back with some chunky. Trying to distribute it evenly throughout the canvas here. And some more of my bling. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the coral extra fine. Oh, you guys, this is going to be really pretty. And you know me, if you if you <laughs> if you've been watching my videos on my channel, you know I'm all about color for my videos because there are so many people in the world who love different colors. And that's my main um the main reason why I do these videos. I try to switch up the colors as much as possible. And so I'm just going to turn this around. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, <laughs> but once I brush that off, you guys, it is going to be gorgeous. Okay, so our liquid glass is all dry and all of the glue uh, that I use to um, adhere my frame is all dry as well. And now we are going to brush this off see what we need to do, if anything, to just maybe do some touch-ups. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I am really happy with the way this turned out. I so love that bling wrap as a frame around my canvas. That turned out fantastic. And I love this coral color. That chunky glitter is kind of like that holographic chunky glitter that I use every once in a while, but with different colors. Yeah, this frame, oh, I just love it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love that idea. Here it is from the side. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be using this again. And you know, this is a lot less expensive um, than mini mirror tiles if you can't find them at any of your dollar stores. Because this big roll goes a long way. And like I said, I will leave a link in my description box. Look at it from the side, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Very pleased with that. Yeah, look at the different colors coming through that glitter. Oh, that's gorgeous, you guys. Love, love it. I'll get in closer to see those paint colors. Yeah, the pearl white rather than a stark white for coral is really fantastic. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up.
will really help my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.